coming up on The Lowdown. Are you guys big into Reddit? Check out where else you can use the app. Hey guys, Aaron here. I'm going to be taking a look at some crazy and wild simulator games coming right up here on The Grid. Why are so many PS4s selling? PlayStation's not even sure themselves. The Lowdown starts now. Hi everyone, I'm Elizabeth Panos with The Grid Gaming, bringing you the lowdown. Super Smash Bros is coming along sexy style as creator Sakurai revealed a new playable costume for Samus. Based on Metroid Fusion and Metroid Zero Mission, Samus's costume shows even more skin than that Zero suit. Sakurai made sure to mention that a woman was on the designing team, so everyone ready to jump at the chance to flip about sexism, hold your horses because Samus is owning those shorts. Reddit is coming to Xbox One tomorrow. Larry Herb, Xbox Live's Major Nelson, tells us a bit about how the app Red X works. First, you'll see the main page here, where you can see what's hot and what's new on the site. If you click into one of the posts, you can, of course, check out the comments, reply yourself, upvote or downvote, just as you would on Reddit. You can also scroll endlessly through posts. You can pan and zoom into pictures. You can also fast forward, rewind, or pause GIFs. Embedded YouTube videos can be played within the app and much more. Microsoft also announced that an MTV app is coming to Xbox One tomorrow as well. I actually don't have a Reddit account. I feel like I'm slacking now, but do you guys like Reddit? Are you excited or what? Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare arrived on PlayStations today, along with an announcement from Diamond Select Toys and PopCap for a line of Garden Warfare action figures, coming soon to a lawn near you. Not gonna lie, they look pretty gnarly. Garden Warfare Mini Mates will be available at Toys R Us stores next month in early September, but it gets better. Next month, wherever Diamond Select toys are sold, Bloom and Doom 5-inch scale figure 2-packs will be there, featuring Gatling T with Scientist Zombie, Camo Cactus with Foot Soldier Zombie, Chomper with Engineer Zombie, and Shadow Flower with All-Star Zombie. Super Meat Boy fans, listen up. The creators of The Bloody Platformer are working on their next project, a live action stealth game, A Voyeur for September. It's one of those trailers that's rare to come by where almost nothing's happening, but you want to see more. Team Meat said that they will be debuting the game at the Indie Mega Boot at PAX Prime, which runs August 29th through September 1st in Seattle, Washington. A Voyeur for September is coming to PC, Mac, Linux, iOS, Android, and possibly a physical format not yet revealed. All right, Aaron's back again, and he's going to tell you guys what's coming up next. What's up guys, Aaron is here and I am back. I wanna to talk to you guys about something pretty cool. Now I wanna do something a little different. I wanted to pick a genre of games to play and pick three games and I actually went with simulator games. Now I know simulator games can be a little eh, yay or nay. I know Goat Simulator became huge and now they're making physical copies. These games I played, are they worth getting? Are they worth playing? You're gonna to have to stick around and wait and see. Um, they're kinda of iffy, but one of them I really did love. Let's find out what it is, here they come. Thanks, Aaron, but by that he means coming up in a few minutes. Rise of the Tomb Raider is currently expected to release holiday 2015 as an Xbox exclusive, but Sony executive Yoshida is hoping the game will make its way to PlayStation someday. When the Tomb Raider exclusivity deal was announced at Gamescom last week, Yoshida mentioned that there were many negative reactions. Yoshida said, quote, in general, there are lots of people who are angry, who emotionally reacted to the announcement. Some people created an image saying negative things like the end of Tomb Raider. It was a very emotional response. Ubisoft said that not enough Nintendo consumers are purchasing Assassin's Creed games, so Ubisoft will not be releasing any more mature games for the Wii U after this year's Watch Dogs, which is pretty late coming to the Wii U anyway. But Ubisoft will be focusing on more family-oriented games instead, like Just Dance for the Wii U. Speaking of which, Just Dance 2015 is coming to the Wii U this fall because I know every single person watching this can't wait to play it. 
Sony has sold over 10 million PlayStation 4s, but they're not entirely sure why. Sony's Yoshida said that they've now managed to catch up with the demand, but he has a fascinating concern. Yoshida said, quote, it's just beyond our imagination. We are so happy, but I for one am a bit nervous because we do not completely understand what's happening. You need to understand why your products are selling well so you can plan for the future, right? Still, pretty cool problem to have. GameStop CEO Paul Raines had a cancerous brain tumor removed last week. Thankfully, the tumor was in an easily accessible part of his brain, so the surgery was a success. Reigns, age 50, is expected to make a full recovery. GameStop executive chairman Daniel DiMatteo said, quote, Speaking for the board, we have every confidence in Paul's continued leadership and wish him a speedy recovery. While he recovers, our highly tenured executive team will ensure that our business continues without interruption. We thank you for your support during this time. It seems that Gamescom 2014 was a massive hit. Over 335,000 of you decided to show up to the event this year. Not only is that a massive number, but that number also represents 88 different countries. As you can see, gaming is only getting more popular, guys, so hop on board. Chair Technology Officer at Oculus VR, John Carmack's nine-year-old son, Ryan, made his own video game. The game Angry Face is a modified version of the classic game Pong. Ryan said he coded the game with Unity himself, but his four-year-old little brother helped him with the sound design and testing. Ryan said that this is the first game he created and he wants to make more in the future, as he's really hoping that everyone likes it. Angry Face includes Grandma Mode for those who appreciate a slower learning experience and Pro Mode for, well, a pro who likes faster gameplay. Already, Ryan is incorporating differentiation and I can't wait to try it out. The game is available on PC and Mac for free using the Unity Web Player. Microsoft has made a statement saying that there are 5 million Xbox One gamers who have used Upload on the Xbox One, which means it is very likely that 5 million Xbox One units have been sold. At the end of 2013, the Xbox One had sold 3 million units, which would mean that 2 million this year already. The Xbox One is definitely the underdog in comparison to the PS4, as Sony announced at Gamescom that more than 10 million PS4 units worldwide have been sold. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Elizabeth Panos with The Great Gaming. I'm on Twitter and Instagram, at Great Elizabeth, and on Facebook, at Elizabeth Panos. And now Aaron's going to take you guys away with some simulator games. What's up guys, Aaron here, and I'm doing something a little special today. I picked three games from one genre, and that genre was simulator games. Now I did do all these games kind of at a random pick. So let's see what games I was drawn right now. Horse Simulator was developed by a guy named Boris Sarkov. Here's how he describes the game. Giddy up, partner. This horse simulator is packed with fun interaction. Uh... <laughs> Well, yeah. The goal in the game is to collect all the carrots in each area and move on. Before I found any carrots, I realized that my horse was basically a bulldozer. Seriously, I could ram through almost anything. Soon after that, I noticed some humans walking around. Well, let me head on over to them so they can saddle up. <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh no. I'm a murderer. This game overall is very glitchy and has many, many issues and problems with it, but the game does have one very important thing going for it. The game had me laughing the whole entire time. Throwing Knife Simulator 2 was developed by Leonard Shatakluku? I don't know how you say his name. And well, it's time to throw some knives. Okay, so we start off and I'm just randomly throwing knives at a spinning wheel. Well, I was entertained for quite a while. I still got bored fairly quick. I also was not very good at controlling where my knives went, so I don't know if that was on me or the game. Well, since that's it, I guess I'm just gonna end the review and give this game a rating of, uh, uh, huh? Oh my god! I didn't even realize I had the option to change my targets, from a crazy old cowboy drawing 
to a demon? A demon who I'm actually supposed to kill? And an average man that looks scared to death being on this wheel? I hate admitting this, but the game just became enjoyable. Is the game worth the download? Well, that's your call. But this cracked me up. Thanks, Knife Simulator 2. Yay, a cat simulator. This was actually my favorite of all the simulator games I played today. You just play as a cute little cat wandering around. And that's pretty much it. And you actually earn points by destroying your owner's house. There is zero objectives in the game, and I mean zero. I tried to find an end to the level, but I didn't find anything. So I actually thought to myself, okay, okay, this is a cat simulator. And what do cats do? Nothing! This game nailed it! Well, that's besides the glitch in the bathtub that contained actually no water, where I could not jump out of. No matter what I did, every angle I tried, way of moving my cat, I couldn't escape. If I was going to play one of these simulator games again, it would be Cat Simulator. It was actually kind of fun, so I guess you could say this game is for me. Ow. <laughs> All right, guys, so that was my picks. You guys are gonna base your own opinions on what you saw. We'll see what you think. Let me know. You guys can find me anywhere on any social media, you guys. I'm Aaron Stapish with The Grid Gaming.